Alright, so today I will test the phone using the this unit connected to the computer instead. It already has the frequencies in there for duplex operation. And if we go over to the computer, it is um, it's running a piece of software called Osmocom Analog, which is useful for simulating old analog cell phone networks. So, to run this, I already have the command in there. It's uh, NMT, which is the network and the actual name of the program. Dash K1 is channel 1. The dash Y is uh, the area, so it's set to Finland and with the traffic area of 1. Dash A is the external sound card that's hooked up to the radio. Is over there. When I hit enter on the keyboard, it should automatically start uh, broadcasting the idle signal, which the phone should pick up and give us a, a green service indicator. And there it is. So now um, the software is using the, the tester to broadcast its signals we can just dial straight from the phone and it should connect and there we go so if we just hang it up and we can dial another number doesn't really matter which We can also hang up from the software, simulating uh, the other end just hanging up the phone. So if we hang up, we have to hang up here too. Now, since I called the, the software, it should know uh, the phone's number, and it does. It's already in there. So, if we hit the D key, it should dial, and this phone should ring. And it does. We can answer it. And it works. So, so just hang it up. And this is different to just using the tester as uh, a means of testing these phones since it's completely manually operated. It doesn't allow you to hang up the phone. Uh, you have to hang it up from the tester. And uh, if you don't do that, it just errors out and it just hangs there. So with this software, it's more of a complete base station simulator instead of just a test unit. The tester was never meant to be used as a base station. Now, the next step would be to uh, get the software to make uh, outbound calls with a piece of software from the same guy uh, called LCR or Linux Call Router. I have not been successful in uh, correctly compiling and setting this software up yet. I'm trying my best. It's a lot of info to take in and a lot of trying and failing. So, but the idea was to use it with um, uh, an ISDN NT box and uh, one of those cheap uh, GSM terminals you get off eBay. Which you can just stick the SIM card in and you get the analog phone line. So, that's pretty much it.